Well, welcome Sunday Night Live at the Switch Hats. I had the other hat on. All righty, so here we are. Look, we've already got quite a few in the comments, and I just want to say welcome to Sunday Night Live. I'm glad you came over, and uh, I just put out a post a little while ago uh, because we did hit 14,000 subscribers, and believe it or not, um, March, three years ago, March 21st was my very first video uh, called Coffee in the Woods. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that, oh, go back and watch it. Uh, you'll see a big difference in the editing and stuff. But, oh, let me say hi. Oh, I saw on here that uh, Ed Chaos, hey, Ed. <laughs> so it's Mike's, uh, uh, Cowboy Mike's birthday. So I got a big comment here. Oh, happy birthday, Mike. And you know who else's birthday it is? It's uh, our son, Jonathan. Uh, he turned 28 today. So Miss 2.0 went yesterday uh, down to uh, Maryland to see him. I couldn't go. <laughs> so uh, today was his birthday. But she just got back a little while ago and uh, she is back home safe. So happy birthday, uh, Mike, Cowboy Mike. I got the cowboy hat on, brother. <laughs> and uh, happy birthday to Jonathan, our son who turned 28, who's in the Space Force. And uh, yeah. So why couldn't I go? Well, because <laughs> uh, I don't know if I mentioned it last week. I thought I did. Um, now, I did something a little different tonight. I got this banner here. And I'm going to put this banner up real quick. <laughs> and, and I'll explain. <laughs> Bathroom break, be right back. So why do I have that? Well, I go tomorrow, maybe too much information, but <laughs> we should all get it done. I go tomorrow for a colonoscopy. I got to get up at 5 a.m. to get to the hospital uh, for that, an endoscopy and a colonoscopy. So they wanted me to do a two-day prep. <laughs> so when Jonathan said, come down for his birthday, I went, oh, I can't go. <laughs> well, I can go, <laughs> just not go <laughs> there. Uh, so I'm at the end of my two-day prep. And I thought, well, I better put an emergency comment up there so I can, in case I got to run. <laughs> I can run. <laughs> so, all righty. Well, all right. Let's get back to all these comments and say hi to everybody. Here we are. So, hey, London, how are you doing? Or Landon. I'm sorry. I thought that was a no. Um, so, uh, good to be a good one. Going to be a good one. Well, I hope so. <laughs> so, today, the 24th would be like I said, Jonathan's birthday. Um, and it is the two year anniversary of my stroke. So a lot of things with uh, March. Um, so started the channel at the end of March, March 21st. Uh, on our one year anniversary of the channel, we had 500 subscribers that morning. Well, I guess it was a couple days after because it was the 24th. Um, so instead of the 21st, and then hit those 500 subscribers and I went to work and that's when I had my major stroke and lost all movement on my right side. Um, the whole leg, the arm, the speech, everything. So if you haven't watched the uh, stroke series, go back and watch that. If you know anybody that's had a stroke and you want to encourage them, uh, maybe uh, send them over to the link to that uh, playlist. All right. So <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to squirrel it already, right? Uh, hey, Mac, how are you doing? Ah, uh, you're the best. Ah, oh, you're the best, brother. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, I am so um, appreciative of the 2.0 family. And uh, Freddie Moss, brother, you're saying congratulations to Tony and the 2.0 family on 14K subs. Yes. Uh, on to the next milestone, which the next milestone it actually says it's 15,000 subscribers is the next milestone, that little sticker thing that they give you. Um, and that's also when we're planning on doing our 24 hour live. If I can figure it out, <laughs> I want to do a 24 hour live for that. Yes. Uh, and, and yeah. And uh, hey, Leonard, how are you doing? 
Uh, yes, in uh, three question marks uh, in in front of questions. Let's see, was there going to be a question? Uh, getting ready for severe thunder, uh, severe thunderstorms. Well, you hunker down. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Uh, everybody's saying happy birthday, happy birthday. And where was that at? That is Oklahoma City. Uh, yeah. So, hey, old and crackadated and Joseph Kelly, how are you doing? And then we got Elric the Blackheart. Brother, how are you doing? I was just thinking about you today. Yeah. And there's Sarah. Good evening, Sarah Cave. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, let's see. Finally got to try a Louisiana crunch cake today. What? <laughs> it was really good. And like when you take it out of the box, just the Louisiana crunch cake all by itself, it's good. But I recommend putting it in the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds. Just makes it like it came out of a fresh baked right out of the oven. <laughs> so it's good like that. So your next step, Sarah, is to elevate it and do our Louisiana crunch cake 2.0 style pineapple upside down cake. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. All righty. Uh, let's see. Hey, Robert Bell, how are you doing? And then we got uh, there's brother Mike. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, hey, Mike, how are you doing? All right, MD Gons. Yes, how are you doing? Uh, yep, and you're you're going through the videos. I know I say it every week, but but Melissa has been watching so many of her videos um, and just going through playlists that are. They, I've I was just looking at it the other day, and I've got quite a few playlists on there. I tried to separate stuff out. Um, so that if you're interested in just one uh, certain genre, <laughs> I guess it's called, uh, you can just click on that one and watch a whole bunch of videos. Uh, so we got a lot of videos on there. I forget how, 430 maybe. Uh, yeah. Hey, William, how you doing? All right. So welcome, welcome. Uh, rough, rough signed by hat. <laughs> there you go. Uh, hey, rough, uh, redneck, uh, city boys. How are you doing? Ah, uh, there's Rick and there's false paranormal. Hi, NEPA. How are you doing, brother? Uh, let's see. Tall tree. Oh, awesome. 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 Uh, welcome. Welcome. There's Stitch. <laughs> so if uh, I know um, I've mentioned it many times, but Stitch had sent me this hat or didn't send it to me when I was out there doing my live out there with Stitch at his place uh, when I was doing that trip across America. Gosh, that's almost a year now. So I left March. Well, actually, St. Patty's Day. Last year on St. Patty's Day, I was in Arizona and I had uh, corned beef uh, over at Greg's house with um, Dave and Katie. And that's where I lost um, I, I lost studio Tony or chef Tony. He got out of the car carrier and I didn't see him the rest of the trip. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, but you guys voted for this hat. And that's why uh, this is the one. There was three different options. And this is the one that you guys voted on. All right. So good evening, Joel. How are you doing? Hey there, Skeeter. Uh, like a good neighbor, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone. He's saying uh, howdy, Freddie. Uh, there we are, Richard. How are you doing? Uh, small Town Adventures. Yep, 14,000. Actually, 14,009 now. And also... Thanks, everyone, for watching that last video at the Subaru dealer. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And a couple of people asked me a couple of questions. And so when I drive into the lot after it was so windy, it got to 60 mile an hour winds. When I was underneath that bridge, just waiting, trying to figure out what I was going to do, how to make that cheesesteak, because I didn't want to want to want to cook it in the car. I wanted to open up the hatch. Now I was going to pull the table out and I thought, oh, that might be a bit much because <laughs> uh, if I saw someone coming, I could just push the button and it would close. And then I would go like, I'm looking at the car, but where I parked. So my options were several different places. Uh, so when we take a trip around the building, you'll see in that there's cameras all over. But I thought if, if I'm 
out front. So uh, my idea was to be more stealthy. Sometimes being stealthy is being visible. All right. So the reason I went Wednesday night too is because they closed both the sales lot and the service at five o'clock. And I thought, well, that will give me more time. And I realized that when I was there last week on a Monday night, um, a week earlier when I the phone broke. Um, so when I was there, I kind of parked where the service is, where you drop your car off and then, you know, they'll come out in the morning and pick it up and drive it in and do the service and then call you, let you know it's done. Um, so rather than parking in that area, um, I felt it would be better if I, when I drove around the building, I was looking for spots. However, I thought to myself, if I'm parked anywhere near the back or kind of like hidden behind the building, if someone did come and they would see me back there, that would look more nefarious than being more out in the open. So as I drove around, um, I was going to slide into where the cars were and then have the hatch open in the back with a car behind it. And then I thought, well, if I do that, uh, that's still on the side of the building, but I couldn't find any place where there was a missing car, uh, except for when I pulled around to the front, all the cars that I parked in that row, those were cars that were dropped off, brand new ones that were just dropped off waiting for the guys to put them in and do all whatever they have to do for to get them in place. Um, so in the morning when that vehicle came to drop off more cars. There was actually two of them that came. I didn't see the second one until after I was doing, uh, got the wilderness and was taking that for a spin or complimentary car for six hours while they did the service. Oh, I got to get back to saying hi to everyone. All right. But for, for me, when I par pulled up behind that car, I thought, you know what? I think this is going to be a good spot because I was low enough from the cars along the road and th I, there was no chance of anybody being behind me or me stuck in between other cars, like just backed into one. And I would just look less suspicious, uh, if you say, um, parked there where I could close the hatch quick and just, you know, look at like I'm looking at the car and because there was one person that drove by while I was getting getting ready to get set up when I was talking to you guys when I was sitting in the car and I just pulled up there. If you notice, I said, there's going to be people driving through here all night. So Pennsylvania, okay. Um, Pennsylvania does not, it's not like other states on car lights. And that's one of the things that I noticed because when I was um, 18 years old, I moved down to Somerville, South Carolina, where my uncle lived. He was a deputy sheriff. And I remember on the way, just um, Monte Carlo SS car just came out. And while I was down there, I was driving and I saw they had them at this one dealer. So I'm used to going into lots and just looking at cars, no matter what time of day it is. So down there in Somerville, I saw this one dealer and I pulled right into the car lot, went over and I'm got out and I'm looking at this Monte Carlo SS and I'm like, oh, this is so cool. Well, next thing you know, lights <laughs> from a police car pull up behind me and I'm looking like, uh oh, what did I do? <laughs> you know, and here they lock their gate. They have a gate that closes in front. You can't go into in in South Carolina, you can't go into the car lots after hours. And here I was in there, but how did I get in? Well, there, I didn't notice there was a gate. Well, he does a patrol, unlocks the gate, does a patrol. So while he was doing his patrol around before he locked the gate back up, um, 
I must have pulled in while he was on his patrol going through all the car lot. And then when he came around, he saw me <laughs> looking at this car and he's like, what are you doing here? And he was very investigative. One of my driver's license and all that stuff. And I'm telling him, no, up in Pennsylvania. He said, well, boy, they don't do that down here. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I didn't know. And uh, I said, my uncle is a deputy sheriff, <laughs> Uncle Joe. Do you know him? And he's like, uh, yeah, I know Uncle Joe, but are you sure he's your uncle? And it turned out we had to call him and he said, yeah, that's, that's, that's my nephew. <laughs> so, uh, he gave me my license back and then I never went in another car lot down there, uh, after hours because you can't, they're all locked. Well, Pennsylvania is not like that. You pr pretty much can go in them. Um, maybe some are, but not all of them. <laughs> so, oh, like I said 10 minutes ago, I was going to get back to the comments saying hi, everybody. Yep. Okay. Hey, there's Miss 2.0. Yay. <laughs> she, there's a uh, hi, everyone saying, I got to get this mouse working better for me on this slide. And then I'm real close to the phone, <laughs> the camera. Let me slide you back here a little bit. So I'm not so big and bold in your in your TV or your phone, whatever you're watching. Hey, Jamie, how you doing? Hey, huge 2.0. Hello to the room. Yes. Yeah. And um, I know last week we talked a little about, bit about Discord. So uh, I'm thinking we're going to do it. We're going to uh, there was a quite a number of people in that little poll that said, yeah, we'd like it. So. I don't know if y'all had a chance to go and watch uh, Discord for Beginners. It's not for everybody, but there is a segment of our viewers that would like to just have uh, chats, uh, things like that, talk, you know, get together on Discord. Um, yeah, it would be cool if maybe, uh, because I know on there you can even do like video talking um, where it's uh, audio, like it's inter very interesting, and I'm thinking like gamers um, that go on and they play their game. If say like 20 of them want to uh, talk in a like a little group, they can talk verbally while they're playing their game. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if um, there was a certain segment of our viewers that wanted to talk while I was doing like a premiere or something like that, or have a watch time set up where we would all watch the video together and be on there just talking <laughs> about it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but KN's done a tremendous job working on getting all that done. So I definitely want to, I want to uh, get that rolling at some point. This has been a busy week. Yeah, it has. All righty. So thanks a lot, Mac. I uh, really appreciate that. Yeah, it's happy anniversary, third year anniversary. Yes, yes. Hey, Jim Wade, how are you doing? Uh, prep, <laughs> prep is the worst part. You know what? It hasn't been bad. It really hasn't. I ate my last meal. <laughs> it was Friday. Uh, Lisa and I, we made cod uh, in the air fryer. So she breaded up some cod. We did that, had a baked potato and some broccoli. So that was around six o'clock on Friday. And then Saturday morning, it's weird. They have you buy a bottle because since I'm doing it for two days, they had me buy two bottles of Miralax and then you mix it and propel. Now this is not <laughs> you can mix it with Gatorade, but everybody I talked to said, do the Propel. It's got the um, electrolytes and stuff in it. Now, it's this is just water. <laughs> I've refilled it because I'm hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So you have to drink two of these. So you mix a, ha a half of the bottle in one of these and then the other half in the other. And you've got to drink them within two hours, starting at 10 a.m. And I was finished by noon but yeah no it's it's it it hasn't been the experience that i thought it was going to be i did it like eight to nine years ago then they wanted me to come back because they were they found something um in my esophagus that they wanted to keep an eye on uh, but when i was supposed to go back i uh, that's pretty much um ended up with the stroke and stuff and we never did it again. So I've been holding off on doing it, but finally I'm going to get there tomorrow. And my good friend, uh, George, 
who I have coffee with. And thanks, George and Ed, for the uh, coffees. Um, a lot of times, uh, George and Ed will, um, you know, give me like a $20 bill and say, hey, this is for food. So that cheesesteak, um, and I said, I, Irish pro Isles. Irish provision. Oh, I said Irish provisions. It's actually Irish Isles and Shemokin, and it was a shaved um, uh, ribeye <laughs> that we used for the cheesesteak. Yeah, it was good. And uh, they actually provided um, the money for that to get the green peppers and all that other stuff. Yeah, very, very cool. Yes, and thank you, George and Ed, for that. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah, there we go. So happy birthday to Lori's son, Tyler, who will be 17 years old tomorrow. Well, happy birthday. Seems like a lot of birthdays in March. Yep. And, uh, Random Adventures 2.0 has got a birthday in March, too. It's March 24th or <laughs> 21st. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see. I'm going to scroll down. There's Dixie Cup. Welcome, Dixie Cup. Hi, everyone. I made it. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, there's Rick Thomas. Hey, Tony. Hey, Rick. <laughs> How are you doing? All right. Oh, hey, Mario on Orantes. I believe that's how I say it, and I believe it's uh, Mario is the first name. Yeah, welcome, welcome, and good evening, Tony is. Oh, there's Tim. Uh, Tim from Florida. Oh, Xander, how are you doing? Congratulations, he's saying, on the 14K. And I want to say thank you very much um, uh, to John and Jamie. Uh, when I put that post out um, just earlier, I got a notification that um, I was uh, – I received, somebody did buy me a coffee and uh, it said, congratulations from uh, John and Jamie. And I wanna thank both of you for the 30 coffees um, that y'all had uh, bought for Random Adventures 2.0. And it's such an amazing thing and such a great um, blessing uh, to receive things like that. It's just always i'm always humbled uh whenever anybody does stuff like that and uh, i want to thank both of y'all and um i'm looking forward to talking to you john and um we just exchanged phone numbers and things like that uh he had emailed me and and just uh shared some information with me that uh just was very moving and um just uh, i'm looking forward to talking to you uh jamie i mean john uh, really very much um we are the champions. There we go. And I jumped over Haley. Hey, Haley, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> hey, we just ate Louisiana crunch cakes. Awesome. <laughs> you did too. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, uh, what do you use to edit your videos? All right. So I use Power Director. Um, that is an app that is downloaded on my phone. So I do everything with Power Director uh, for all of my editing. I don't edit on the computer. I edit strictly on my phone. And uh, I really like Power Director. It's, uh, they've got a lot of different things. Uh, they've got a lot more on there that I don't utilize because some of it, you know, where it, it does, bzz, you know, like in it, it makes your face all weird and things <laughs> There's, it's just not me <laughs> like uh but they've got a lot of stuff and um you know for guys that, uh, and gals that want to do different things for like um, shorts and stuff or make really cool um editing for that stuff I, i've just i've always liked it that's the only editing uh software that i've ever downloaded and i just got used to it it's very quick to learn a lot of tutorials on their uh site they're they're on um youtube uh, tutorials so pretty much anything you want to learn uh how to edit um they teach you how for me, I only watched a couple of those because I'm more of a uh, person that likes to just keep trying things and like, boom, boom, you know, investigate. So if you noticed on that video, I did a quite a, I mean, there was a couple of people that said, well, you did way too many uh, changes. Like when I was talking in the car and I'm talking and then I'm looking this way, talking for the first time, I 
I tried to do something different now that I've got the two cameras. So I've got, oh, this one's set up. Uh, so this is the other phone. This is the, the Samsung that I picked up um, when the last phone broke. Um, my good Samsung, uh, I got this Samsung. It was just add an extra line. And I wanted to do that for just emergency purposes. Um, but while it's not an emergency, I thought, oh, I wonder if I could film with this one too and link the two together. And <laughs> so, so I was actually filming with this one. I thought, well, I'll set it up over here. And while I'm talking, I'll just turn every once in a while. That saved me from moving the camera. Well, I guess I did it a little too much for some people. It got they said they got a little too much in the in the switch and back and forth, um, but I don't normally do that. But hey, I'm I'm learning and trying different things all the time, and I really like the ability that when you're watching that video, sometimes you'll see that it uh, cut to uh, while I'm cooking. I set that one up. Uh, that phone on time lapse because remember last week I said, man, I would love to be able to do a uh, time lapse of the sunset, but I can never do it because I'm always filming with this camera um, or this phone. And then I'm the sun setting while I'm doing stuff. Well, I was able to set that one up for the sun uh, set, also for the sunrise, uh, but the sunset. So while I'm in the back of the car cooking and doing all that stuff, we were recording time lapse, the sunset and then traffic and things. And then, so what I did is I can, because that's a Samsung and this one's a Samsung, I could share. So I shared it over and dropped it right into my editing thing and then lined it up and then just used sections to cut away while I was cooking. You'll see, I think two, I think I only did two different times because as the sky's uh, changing colors behind me, getting closer to night, I used a little bit of a clip of fast speed of whereabouts that would be uh, just to show it getting darker. And then I used another rest of the clip of that time lapse a little bit later when it was getting dark, even darker, just cut away to that for a second. So gave me a lot more options. <laughs> that I'm, I actually set that one up too on um just playing around in here before we got started. Um, but I can't get the, that one. I, I set it up on StreamYard as well and had it set up over here so that when I go back there, I can have both of me on the camera. And I thought, well, I don't know if that's going to be too much of me. <laughs> but I wanted to do a close-up of something back here and talk about it while I was talking to you guys here. But you be able to see it close up, but I can't get that one, even though I muted it, the microphone, for some reason, I and I put the sound all the way down, you can hear me coming through on that one uh, talking. So I, it, I didn't have enough time to figure it out, but that might be pretty cool <laughs> for our lives. And that's all in preparation for sometime doing a big live like that 15 hour one having those two phones and being able to switch back and forth might help all right it's snowing what stitch i bet you rough's loving it <laughs> yeah mario's mysteries i love your channel and happy and happy birthday absolutely well thank you very much yeah we got something in common. We both love our channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, goofy. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, no quarters, Chavez. I hope I said that la that name right, Chavez. Uh, hey, Mike Ryder. Good to see you too. All right. Uh, my st uh, st uh, let's see. Hey, David P. Hiya, Tony, Michelle, and I are checking in. I appreciate it, Dave. Yes, and we're going to get together soon and have that coffee. Just, yeah, yeah, it's coming. Uh, the unicorn, the unicorn verse, according to Dave. Hey, Tony, uh, nice toboggan on again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Howdy. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got PC. Any uh, place for the eclipse? Uh, any, oh, any plan? Well, I'm, I was thinking about that, and I'm going to be down in um, 
North Carolina till the seventh, and I'll probably spend the night the seventh. I'll be driving on the eighth, and I'm going to be about nine hours, eight or nine hours away. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get back uh, or what time I'm going to get back uh, to, in time for the eclipse. But yeah, a lot of interesting things about the eclipse this year. <laughs> a lot, a lot of interesting things. What, <laughs> Richard? I think I can touch it right there. Thank you so much for that. Yippee, <laughs> Kaye. There you go. Howdy, yippee, Kaye. Oh, I should get the stool out. But the last time I sat on the stool, I fell off. <laughs> so, but they always say, if you fall off a horse, get back on. And I did. So, but I didn't have a cowboy hat on that night. <laughs> but thank you so much, um, Richard. Really appreciate that. And look at your beard. Oh, uh, we're, we, we're beard brothers, right? I did trim it a little bit uh, yesterday, just with scissors. <laughs> Not too much, but we're getting there. All right. I'm thinking about growing it for a whole year and seeing what happens. But I, like I said, I've never had a big beard before, um, like kept it going. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So thank you again for that uh, super chat. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, coming down. So, yeah, a, a possible plan for the eclipse. Uh, it is going like you can go on no matter where you're at. And I just did this um, yesterday. So you go on the computer and I forget what it is, but you go on and you type in eclipse and put your area in and then it'll show you when it starts. And there's a little video and it'll show you how it's covering the sun um, or how the shadow is moving across and tells the exact time it starts and when it's done, completely done. Ours for my area starts at 2.06 and I'm in central Pennsylvania, but it comes right down to the town. So Elysburg area, um, 2.06, and it does not, the shadow does not leave the sun until 4.36. And total, if you're in the total eclipse, like like I have a little little hangnail <laughs> view uh, still hanging on of the sun, but dark for four hours and twenty four hours, four minutes and twenty eight seconds, I believe it said, or something like that. But it's going to be. Um, Total dark, like street lights are going to come on and stuff. I think it might be neat to film something. I've really got to see. Uh, that's not until the 8th. <laughs> so check your area out for the 8th. Uh, but so far, no plans for that. Oh, well, Leonard, I'll be praying for you to be out of under the weather. I don't know if that's under the weather, like sick, <laughs> but uh, or just under the weather. Well, probably sick. Yeah. So, Leonard, wishing y'all all the best. Hey, Vermont King, how are you doing? That car lot camp out was great. Yeah, that was a, that was a lot of fun. And so we got a question here. Tony, have you ever been caught or uh, encountered anyone during your stealth camp? So there's been a few times. Um, uh, the ones busted that was at the Walmart one. Um, as far as uh, I've had the one baseball, very first baseball dugout that I did two Thanksgivings ago, uh, the young man uh, was that was part of uh, the dog rescue. Um, he was the person needing to be rescued. So they, you know, try the dogs try to find him. And he came around and we talked. Uh, for a minute, he was asking a lot of questions like, what are you doing? Uh, like, what are you doing? And I told him I was doing a lot of photography for the sunset and stuff. So uh, only a couple times um, have I ever been uh, encountered uh, like that or had a conversation with somebody. Uh, yeah. And the one at the Walmart, I knew that one was coming and <laughs> car drove by real slow. <laughs> and um, I just ate dinner, but I had my hammock tied to their storage bins and had the car still parked there. Um, 
I wasn't hidden. I was on the side of the building and they came out and said, Hey, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm just getting finished eating dinner. And, uh, and they said, well, you can go out there and eat. And, uh, so I packed up and went and ate my dessert, uh, up on the hill at the other location, just decided to call it a night and put busted, but not really, um, <laughs> much at all. Yeah. Hey, Tony, uh, Brad from uh, Northern Wisconsin. I'm thinking that's WI's Wisconsin. <laughs> How are you doing, Brad? Hey, Emma Brown. Welcome, welcome. And Emma Brown, If you, I know someone commented on the this last video saying, man, that sound quality was great. And that's because of these DJI microphones right here. And that was when we hit 10,000 subscribers and I still have the note in here so emma brown did happy birthday merry christmas pre-congratulations on ten thousand. enjoy so from emma brown she had sent uh these and thank you very much emma brown and i tell you the 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 quality of the sound is really good as long as i don't get it tucked up under my beard or you know i i'm learning to to you use it and sometimes when i walk away like when i'm not filming i'll turn it off there's an on and off button on here and one on the transmitter that's attached to the end of the phone and on the one video that we did the hot tent video at Thanksgiving this year, I filmed the ending four times because I didn't like how it went each time turning off the microphone so I could listen and hear what I just filmed. And on the one that I really liked, I was like, I didn't listen to it. And I said, Oh, that was a good one. Uh, I'm cold. <laughs> We're going to get hiking out of here. And so I ended the video with all of that and went back and hiked back and we took the cart back and stuff. And then when I was in the editing, I realized I never turned the microphone back off. I tried to up the sound because it was coming from the phone and you, you could hear it, but it wasn't the greatest. So it happens. It happens all the time. And I don't get upset about that stuff. I just keep on going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that question uh, was from Just Having Fun. I appreciate that question. All right. Yeah, good evening all, and God bless. Yes, and thank you again, Emma Brown. Emma's been a great supporter of the channel with, um, in fact, the tripod. Um, just so many blessings, so many blessings, Emma. I really appreciate you. Making her own coffee and sending it to us, and uh Roasted beans, just like Miss Stitch had roasted beans for us, coffee beans. And speaking of coffee, <laughs> sliding the chair back here. I have received a box, a whole box. And I'm going to show you that here in a little bit. Uh, but I got a whole, that's not from an individual. That's actually from a company that I'm really excited about. I'm uh, really, really excited about. Hmm. One of the things that I can drink is coffee. <laughs> so I wonder if I ought to make some coffee. Uh, let me keep going down through the comments here. Get caught up. Uh, hey, Patrick, how are you doing? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Patrick Stevens, uh, do you uh, do you hunt? Oh, do I hunt? I uh, used to hunt. I used to hunt. Uh, my daughter does, and son-in-law, um, they big, avid hunters. Uh, in fact, he got a bear. My da daughter's gotten uh, oh, just a really beautiful buck um, last year. Um, so sh they do. They do. I don't hunt anymore. Uh, one, I do have, uh, um, I got this, was doing a little bit of um, archery with my daughter doing 3D shoots. Uh, just so her and I could spend some time together. And I got a Matthews bow, compound bow. And I had it for about four months, and then I had my stroke. <laughs> so I don't even know if I can still pull it back. I do have a crossbow, though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that one's I – got, I got that one probably five years ago, maybe six years ago. It's I should pull that out. It's still in the box. But it's – signed by Norma's 
Uh, it's it's signed by uh, Norm Norm Reedus, um, The Walking Dead. You know he his crossbow. It's signed by him. Uh, it's and it's it's still in the box. I've never I've taken it out once just to look at it, but it's not put together or anything. But for me, I want to shoot <laughs> and hunt. Uh, with the game cam, I want to get a uh, get something on the game cam very very soon, yeah. And we've put it out three times now and haven't gotten anything. But we're gonna we're gonna, yeah. So no, I don't hunt anymore. Um, and I want to get back into more fishing, but I still have trouble casting with this stroke hand. But we are going to do that. Um, our Walmart was out of Louisiana crunch cake. <laughs> oh, Tony's making them very popular. Yeah, you know, a lot of people say they are hard to get. Um, if you go up to the deli, not the deli, uh, the bakery, ask them if you don't see any. Sometimes they have them in the freezer. Uh, they're 24 in a box. I've already bought. A whole case when we do our meetup or something i'll take them for the meetup they're in the freezer and they'll they'll get some for you if they've got them and you just tell them how much you love them and and i always <laughs> wear my louisiana crunch cake t-shirt um that i have from uh it's the random adventures uh t-shirt that I made Louisiana crunch cake and I say, Hey, I even got the t-shirt and <laughs> you know, I need a Louisiana crunch cake. So I don't eat them that often, uh, just because of, uh, the ingredients and amount of sugar. So I always try to watch my sugar because I am type two diabetic and need to control that. Uh, but a lot of people say, man, you eat so much. <laughs> and well, not when I'm not filming. <laughs> so uh, when I'm doing a, a video, um, I eat way more and way better <laughs> than, well, not way better. I, I ate real good, but um, but I don't eat much. Um, and I eat pretty much just once a day. Uh, I'd say it's intermittent fasting, but I'll, you know, don't eat usually until sometimes late in the evening um, and just eat that. But then I, I can eat a little bit more. <laughs> sometimes I, I eat too much because I'll drink. I'll, a lot of times I'll drink a liter, sometimes two, um, just sitting up here in the studio. Uh, they say you shouldn't drink more than a liter an hour. And I've gotten close to drinking almost two liters in one hour. But they say it's not good because it can imbalance your elect pH level. And electrolytes not good for you. So I try to stay within one liter, not every hour, <laughs> but when I'm working on it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hey, Randy, thanks for putting that there. Uh, yeah, congratulations, 1409 and climbing. You sure got the Subaru early for your service. Happy Sunday. Yeah. So when I did that attempt camp um, the week the week before and then the camera broke. Oh, no, it was two weeks before. So I set up because I know you can take your car and drop it off and then get service um, that they do that. So I actually got that next morning to do a test run. I took it in and got uh, oil change and tire rotation. So I knew it was possible. So when I went back, I, I knew I was at past the 120,000 um, mark for service. Now that's fuel injection, top end, uh, but it's a lot of stuff. Oh, and thank you, Jamie <laughs> and John for the coffees and, uh, you know, be, everyone that's contributed because that was, um, not not a cheap service after that video yeah so i got this the um the wilderness oh that's beautiful and i drove that for i had it for about six hours then they called me and said my vehicle was ready to pick up 938 dollars <laughs> it would have been more if i didn't do the oil change and the tire rotation because that's all part of that service for the 120,000 miles. I'm at 131 and I've got a 50,000 miler coming up. Um, but I'm going to save up for that one. But we got 
we got hit pretty big, uh, but we need our car. We need the uh, Subaru, and it, it needs some love. <laughs> and I did, I'll tell you what, it, it did run, run better uh, after I had all that 120,000 mile service done. Oh, and by the way, I did um, uh, buy the car there too. Uh, one month before my uh, stroke, there is a video. And at the end of the video, you get to meet my sales guy. Uh, I put our picture up at the end of that video. So that one's not a stealth camp. I, I needed to do a video um, that week and I had just got in the car and I went to an abandoned dairy farm. Oh, it's like 60, 50, 60 years abandoned. Um, and I did that whole walkthrough of that. Still their salad in the old um, silos. Really neat video. Um, I don't do an overnight because I wasn't doing overnights at that time. My first ever hammock camp was in Centralia. That one where the wind's blowing the tarp and everything. That was my very first overnight in a hammock. Um, so uh, this was before that video. I had done that walkthrough. Um, yeah, I wish I could think of the. So if you go into like uh, most watched videos, that one really took off a year and a half later <laughs> after I filmed it. Uh, and uh, it's it's got 20, maybe 30,000 views. But at the end of that video, um, I'm saying goodbye and stuff. And then I show you the Subaru and it was brand new to me. It's 2017. Uh, but I bought it used in my sales guy and all the information I put in there about about him and great sales guy yes he is and um yeah if you ever want to talk to him go, he's still there uh he's been there for well ever since i bought the vehicle uh he's been there and he wasn't i don't think he was there for too long uh before i bought the car uh, and met him hey sean's adventures how are you doing hey everyone i just look and make sure i don't miss anybody and i uh, let's see. Happy 14,000 K uh, traveling with Todd already. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> there we go. Hey, darling. Good. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, me for 33 years. Olin Craig. Oh, y'all guys are talking back and forth. I really love when you guys do that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. A stupid spell check. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Big Mike. How are you doing, Big Mike? Yeah, old and crack date has been putting out the videos. Yes, he has. Hey, Susan, how are you doing? I mean, yeah. And there's Dan. How you doing, Brother Dan? Uh, can you still remember everyone's name? <laughs> no. Um, as far as remember the name, uh, no. Unless unless you're um, messaging me or you comment, the more you comment, the more I learn the comments and the names. And um, you know, there are, there are uh, individuals that I've gotten uh, very close to uh, just because we've. Um, exchange phone numbers we've talked um things like that but yeah i don't remember everybody's name so one of the things about me is i can shake somebody's hand and by the time i let go of their hand i forget their name <laughs> so a lot of times i have to ask it again but there's more than just me that do that out there uh but i am i am I, I've got to say it multiple times and uh, have more interactions uh, to continue to remember it. Hey, Redbush Primitives, how you doing? Congratulations, 14,000. I uh, did my first overnighter in my one wind hammock, 27 degrees. Love the hammock. Well, I am glad you love it. And I'm so glad that you got that uh, hammock and and got back uh, to me and said how much you loved it. And if you guys ever want to know anything about the One Wind hammock or you want to get a hammock or undergo anything from One Wind, there, there's all always check uh, the um, comment sections of the videos 
or and check to see if I I've got a discount code. But always there's a lot of times there's a discount code and it's RA 2.0 is the discount code. There was a couple that didn't let me do the point because it didn't allow the point. So if you try 2.0 and it doesn't work, always try the uh, rent RA 2.0. Yeah, and uh, see if there's a discount. Some are five percent, some are fifteen percent, some are twenty percent. Yeah, but go on and use the links and uh, check it out. And I know quite a few of you all have gone on to the One Wind uh, site and uh, ordered things from there. Great company. I love my hammocks from from One Wind. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, L L L. How are you doing? Hello, hello from. Cooking frenzy in my kitchen. <laughs> well, awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, is that your channel, Cooking Cooking Frenzy in My Kitchen? Uh, if it is, uh, I'll have to try to check that out. Yes. Oh, Emma's saying she's got bread in the oven. Hike with Mike. Hi, folks. How are you doing, Mike? Already keeping uh, scrolling down because I'm. 18. Oh my goodness. Am I way, way behind? Hey, old grunt. How you doing? Hey, Mike Grimm. Uh, hey, Tony from Cocoa Beach. Awesome. Love your channel. I really appreciate that. Uh, uh, yeah. Breakfast after a procedure is amazing. So if you a <laughs> grand slam at Denny's, yeah. And I get the senior citizens discount now, if I ever went there again, uh, right. Hey, Tim, how are you doing? So, um, like I said, I haven't eaten since Friday. Now I had, you can have jello. So I got some jello, orange jello. I have a, had a couple cups of that. And I did uh, get some chicken broth and I drank some chicken broth um, a couple times. Good stuff. Always tastes better when you're not eating. <laughs> right? All righty. So. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like I'm. A, I'm gonna say I'm gonna scroll. There's Tim Ryan from uh, Syracuse, New York. Uh, scrolling, scrolling. Hey, Polly, how are you doing? Polly, congratulations on the uh, 14k eating burgers. Awesome. <laughs> Wish I was eating a burger right now. <laughs> uh, there, uh, Hey, Trevor, uh, how are you doing? Uh, sorry, I missed you last week. I went to Puerto Rico. Oh, wow, no problem at all. Yeah, a lot going on down there in uh, Haiti. We'll continue to pray for Haiti. Uh, yes, hey, woman outdoors, blessings. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep scrolling. And I'm going to look for question marks at this point. And anybody new that I haven't seen commented. So if you didn't have question marks uh, on there from 828 uh, i'm gonna look but i'm i'm just i don't want to concentrate on trying to read the comments because i got to get caught up all right yeah uh yeah 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 and hey, there we go richard again and <laughs> thank you so much again richard really appreciate that yeah uh yes 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 and oh i do adventures there we go <laughs> acc baseball games that's what you're watching yeah you and i are gonna see one another here coming up soon <laughs> how long are you gonna uh let the hair grow <laughs> right freddie well i don't know i like i said i've never grown my hair uh longer uh but it is getting longer and it hasn't taken too long i was just watching a video not too long ago where I trimmed my beard and went and got my hair cut. That's maybe about a month and a half ago, two months ago, maybe three. I don't know. It's been a little while, but I always, you know, I cut my own hair and I, you know, obviously trim my own beard. Um, but yeah, it's been a while, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to find out. <laughs> yep. Hey, Rewild Outdoors, how are you doing? And uh, if you guys haven't gone over and checked out Rewild's channel, go check it out. And Rewild and I are going to be camping together down at in North Carolina. Travel Mercies, brother, as you're driving there. And uh, hopefully you're still going and we can meet up again. Now, I did uh, on day four 
on day four of the uh, Hang Con video series of the four days, uh, you can get, meet uh, Sean Rewild uh, there uh, on there. And like I said, I, I want to, we, we should talk um, Rewild because I'd like to get together and, and maybe we can do something together while we're down there as a little bit of a collab on our videos. Uh, but yeah, all right. Okay, there we go. I'm still uh, rolling down. I don't want to miss anybody new on here. Uh, but I'm just looking for question marks at this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Joey in the wild. There you are. <laughs> hey, brother. Uh, I remember the Walmart stealth, stealth total bust. Yeah, yeah. I, that was coming. Uh, that was definitely coming. Oh, thanks. I do adventures for reminding everybody. So uh, that's where I'm going to be going. Um, I'm going to leave on the 4th. And I know uh, Wooly uh, Swamp Farms Hammock Hang in Eastern North Carolina. So that's where um, Rewild and I will both be going. And uh, I'm, I, like I said, I think on the 5th, maybe the night of the 5th or sometime then, but we're going to do like a little meet and greet there as well. And um, I do adventures. I'm not sure how the meet and greet work uh there at the campground i don't know if someone lives real close by if they're not camping they can come over and say hi or if they can just come in and and say hi I, i'm not sure how that works but if it works <laughs> that would be awesome all right hey sarah's got a question tony what season do you prefer to camp um Mm, they've all got their their uniqueness um but i was just watching a video earlier today of me camping um when i was just in a t-shirt <laughs> and no under quilt under the hammock and i was packed very very light so i like that um i like spring summer and fall uh oh there's a song like that in spring some oh but it could throw his winter in there too my my um least favorite only because it's harder for me to do things so you can see I, my hand is a little cold right now because it's a little chilly in this room so it's it's tightening up and it's slow this one no problem so this is the stroke hand all right and it's stiff and tight but it gets tighter the colder it is and when i was pointing pointing at the uh, cheese steak and i said hey i'm gonna put this in the wrap you'll see i want to start the point but then i didn't point because my hand was very hard to get out of this position so i was pointing at the stuff with just my pointy knuckle <laughs> not that pointy <laughs> so so my hands get colder it's way harder for me to do stuff tie things um yeah pull up a zipper i have trouble squeezing and i don't got a lot of pressure when it gets colder uh, and if your hands have ever been very very cold that is very similar to what i experience just trying to operate things all the time when they're not cold too but not as bad if that makes any sense. All right. So let's see. Keep it going down. Hey, Patrick, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah. And let's see. Ah, uh, there we got the lots of hearts. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 must be no Louisiana crunch cakes. I know I said I'm just looking for question marks, but sometimes stuff jumps out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey, Josh and Jen. <laughs> all righty, all righty. Hey, Tony, Josh and Jen here. Uh, we are packed up and heading out camping Tuesday. Well, you guys have an awesome time, and that's going to be in that new camper. Yes, and I'm looking forward to seeing pictures on our uh, Random Adventures 2.0 Facebook page. Uh, yeah, so I do want to say just throw a quick banner up get that one off there um <laughs> and i'm not going to do this one yet 
I'm still doing good. <laughs> All right. But I did want to say thanks. Thanks a lot to uh, John and Jamie for the 30 coffees tonight. Uh, what a blessing. Uh, and Mary and John, uh, Johnny Torres, Johnny and Mary D. Torres uh, for the 20 coffees. And they do that every month. Uh, send the 20 coffees as a support. And Mr. Ed for the five coffees. You did the five coffees and then you also became a regular supporter of five coffees per month. Really appreciate that. And someone donated three coffees, but it just says someone. So I want to encourage you, please put your name um, on there uh, when you do the coffee buy me a coffees because it really shows me and helps me to see who who I'm sending a thank you back to. Uh, really, really appreciate that. Alrighty. So okay, going back to comments because I got to get caught up. <laughs> oh, Anthony, how are you doing? Hey, my friend, how are you doing? All right. Uh, a random exploring 1.0. <laughs> there you go. All right. Yeah, uh, oh, Bear Burrito, <laughs> right? Hey, KN, thanks a lot for jumping on, and thanks for all your work that you're doing on that Discord. We're going to get that rolling very soon. Yes, we are. Uh, Chuck Jones, welcome, welcome. Hi, Tony, and good evening, everyone. Happy three-year anniversary. Congratulations on the uh, 4,000, 14,000K. Happy birthday to everyone, and also uh, has a... who also has a March birthday. Mine is in a few days. Well, happy birthday, Chuck Jones. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'd sing happy birthday, but Lisa told me I couldn't because she said you would get dinged <laughs> for singing it, uh, like the whole thing uh, on your channel. I'm like, oh, I know that. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, Andrew, how are you doing? Uh, hey, Tony, uh, how's it going, brother? I hope all is well uh, watching your live in a bit i've been watching your thursday post still uh yes and uh hey uh, have you heard uh any update um steve uh i know crazy neighbor is really sick hopefully everyone is all well sending prayers uh, continue to pray i do um i have been afforded some updates but i'm i'm no liberty to share yes no, not at liberty to share. Uh, just continue to pray for Steve. Definitely, definitely. Hey, homeless Santa, how are you doing? Looking forward to seeing you at Maha as well. Yeah, uh, and uh, I, you dress up as a Santa. I remember you seeing you before. Yes, looking forward to that too. Now that's at the end of April, or latter part of April. Definitely looking forward to doing that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And welcome, welcome. Hey, I'm getting there, right? <laughs> so, uh, yes. Oh, Dixie Cup's got a question. All right. Hey, Tony, uh, when are you uh, going to do your marathon? Have you decided yet? So it's going to be Dixie Cup at 15,000 subscribers. I plan to do the 24 hour marathon. I don't know if other people will be involved with that or how it's all going to go, but I'm still thinking it's going to work. Yep. I just got to figure out how to do it. Yeah. Johnny D. Torres, right? Uh, Tony will, will grow his hair until he looks like Uncle Jesse on Dukes, uh, Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. You know, a couple of people did comment uh, that I looked like um, Dukes of Hazard. Uh, it was one of them. And then the other one was um, uh, uh, Dukes of ha uh, Uncle Jesse. And the other one was a uh, uh, singer, Char Charlie Daniels. And I used to get, um, one guy used to always call me Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Know when to fold them. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Well, thanks, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> Let me see if I can touch the screen here. Yippee ki yay. All righty. Well, I was going to post that again up there. Really appreciate that, Richard. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Hey, the hiking freight train. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> my wife just said the same thing. Oh, that's funny. Anthony Price says, I'm six foot, oh, tw uh, 253 pounds. What hammock would you recommend? Well, Anthony Price, if I would probably like, I'm five, eight. All right. So I've heard that people have laid in the 11 foot hammock that are over six foot. Some people, when they're over six foot, uh, get a 12 foot hammock. But the 11 foot airy hammock, Aries hammock from One Wind, I believe that's, uh, it'll, that, I believe it's a, like a 500 pound weight limit. It's, it's big and, and that's the double hammock, but go on to the link, the one one link, and it's in the description of even our lives. Go on there, click on that, go over to uh, one wind and check out the hammocks. Um, there, there is a, um, you can read about them too, but they're all, all, uh, you know, will hold heavier than what you are, especially the double hammocks are rated, you know, because, Hey, maybe two people will get in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, very comfortable. And it comes with so much like the ridge line and, you know, the that we've got our ridge line light on. But back there's our our continuous ridge line that's on the top of the hammock. It's that line right up here. Uh, so it comes with this line here. Hey, this is uh, our card from Debbie Hills last Sunday. I've still got that up there. That's that. Easter card that she sent. And next Sunday's Easter, so we may not do a live next Sunday. Uh, but this is the, uh, that's our ridge line light <laughs> that we have. Now that one, you can um, get that ridge line light. Uh, you can go on to our storefront. I've got a link for that in the in there. Uh, but hey, <laughs> I can keep moving. Charlie Daniels. Yep, I get that a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Bearded Viking already. How, how are is is your night going tonight tony just stop stopping in from philadelphia all the way down from philadelphia oh i would love to go to the famous cheesesteak place um where there's they're right across the street from each other i like to do that sometime and try both of them i'd probably eat both of them too uh, but I'll tell you what, my cheese steak was pretty good. And we used that squeezed cheese from that jalapeno squeezed cheese. That was only a dollar at Dollar General. <laughs> yeah. And Tony Chocoloni, hello. <laughs> yes, hello, hello. Howdy. All right. Uh, let's see. Anthony Price. Uh, thank you, my friend. You're welcome. Oh, what? Did I catch up? Yes, I did. I'm all caught up <laughs> until someone makes a comment. So what am I? We got 76 people watching. Hey, Lou, <laughs> how are you doing, brother? Uh, yeah, Lou's got a big beard. His comes down to like here. Yeah, if you want to see that, uh, see Lou. What hammock mountain? God bless you, brother. Thank you so much for that super sticker. <laughs> that is awesome. Ah, brother, what a blessing. What a blessing. Thank you so much. So I'm trying to think, do I want to make a cup of coffee? Uh, it's one of the clear liquids that I can have or one of the approved liquids that I can have. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. I've got my cup here. It's been a while since we made coffee uh, in in the studio and since I caught up to everybody we're gonna go ahead and do that oh I, I just gotta see that oh was darling good says Nick Brown donated uh did I miss somebody oh there's Nick <laughs> yeah I did <laughs> happy Sunday that stealth vid was great. I appreciate that, Nick, and thank you so much for that super chat. Awesome, guys. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you, Darlene. Really appreciate that, too. Let me know that because I get to scroll in, and I scrolled right past that. Gino and Pats. There you go. You know where it's at. You know what, Bearded Viking? 
we ought to, we ought, I ought to meet you down there. We ought to do that together, right? <laughs> coffee, Emma Brown saying coffee. <laughs> hey, C Carl Simpson, how are you doing? Oh, wait, nobody comment for a second. Let me get the stove going. <laughs> All right, so, so uh, I'm going to just pour a little bit of water in here. So what coffee are we going to have? Let me tell you in a second. I don't want too much. I'm just going to do about four ounces. Uh, no, that's closer to six ounces. All right. So, turn this on. So I had the other camera set up. <laughs> so this is our little micro burner. Now, you can get these little tanks. I got this one down at REI. So we're going to set that right there away from any paper <laughs> and get our coffee going. And while that's heating up, I'm going to talk to you for a second. So I uh, went to a wedding yesterday uh, evening, my nephew. Oh, well, happy wedding to your nephew getting married. That's awesome. Uh, that's a great accomplishment. Thank you, Rick. All right. Hey, PA Wilderness, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, and uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, okay. All right, I'm going to stop that and then do this. Still doing good. No bathroom breaks yet. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, I tell you what. If you got a bathroom break, maybe I can leave that on. You can go. Yeah. So far, so good. Uh, okay. Back to comments. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Okay. What, Anthony Price? Thank you so much for that. Really, really enjoy your coffee, my friend. Ah, uh, thank you so much for that super chat. That blessing, blessed, truly blessed. I am just beyond blessed by by you guys. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what's in the box? <laughs> so this is the box that. It comes from a company. So I'm going to do this standing up here for a second. Slide you forward. I'm gonna pull over here. So what I was thinking of doing is having having uh, the other camera set up so I could actually do that. Um, oh, good night, jo Joseph. Uh, very busy. In the morning, I got to go. Good night, Tony and everyone else. Uh, good night, Joseph. And <laughs> believe it or not, uh, I got to get up at five o'clock in the morning to go. Hopefully, I don't got to go. <laughs> but, but I go for my uh, uh, procedure tomorrow morning. All right. So this is a box. Okay. And it comes from Swift Coffee Company. All right. It's, it's just called Swift Coffee. They're out of Lancaster. All right, so I got an uh, email. Was it an email? Yeah, email <laughs> uh, from Christian. Christian is uh, from down at um, Lancaster. It's part of the Swift uh, Coffee Com Swift Coffee Company, and they are real. I talked to him for oh goodness, we must have spoke for about an hour on the phone. Um, he originally had talked with uh, the Northwest Wind, so Sam over there, and Sa he said he sent me an uh, email and said, "Hey Sam, I was talking to him. He told me you love coffee, so I reached out uh, just so we could um, talk and uh, see if you'd be interested in knowing more about our coffee." Um, he had me a coffee, <laughs> right? Uh, so. I am going to set this here. So this, he sent me this whole box. Let me hold it up here. Oh. So I opened it and here's everything that's in it. 
So let me just, if y'all don't mind, I will tell you more about it. I don't, I don't want to set it near that, <laughs> that our coffee flame, because <laughs> that would not be good. But I opened the box and look at this. So this reminded me of a diner because it's like a diner style cup. Yeah. So instant coffee. So this is swift coffee. This is just add water, but isn't that cool? So is this side here. So swift coffee, always fresh, always fast. And then you can see there, they're in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So down in Lancaster, so I tell you what, our water's uh, boiling. I don't want it to, I don't want it to boil, boil. All right. You know what? I'm going to use their cup. <laughs> so I'm going to pour this in here and let it cool down in this cup a little bit. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's good. Look at that steaming. Oh, that's steaming. So <laughs> we're going to set that over here. And what am I going to do? So, so I got... He sent the box, uh, and I went on and checked out uh, all their information. And he was, it was such a blessing um, talking with them and finding out more about their company. They started in 2016, and they were um, just two guys um, that started the company. I believe they were, um, they got some old lab equipment and started doing things. They wanted to um, make a coffee instant coffee and through doing all that um they did they one of the biggest things that they do is coffee places all over well i think they even international send them coffee uh international people from around the world don't quote me on that <laughs> but i'm pretty sure uh, but majority of their business has since they've grown into it is they take other um coffee brewers coffee like say you go into a coffee shop and uh this coffee roasts their own beans well they will take their coffee roasted coffee beans make the coffee and then turn it into an instant coffee and and, it's, and also do it in packs so one of the th boxes and then put their label on it and everything and then they put these little boxes together and then they can sell them in their shop. Well, doing this for years, um, uh, they've decided to do their own coffee as well and do their instant coffee. And he said, look, no commitments, no anything like that. We just want you to drink our coffee and try it. Um, so I said, okay, <laughs> and let us know how you like it. Uh, so this one is their twilight dark all right and i'm going to read read the back of it here real quick uh so i just thought this was really neat so this is the back now these are uh, 48 in a box these are but really cool <laughs> so it has this little satchel but oh, that's two of them look at this Real cool. So this is the the Swift coffee, instant coffee. And, and this one here is their Twilight and Dark Roast. I love Dark Roast coffee. I'm going to lay that to the side. So Dark Roast. So what it says is this blend of South African coffees has, you're going to appreciate this, Emma Brown. <laughs> yeah, you are. Um, all of the richness and boldness of a darkly roasted coffee without the unpleasant burnt flavors uh, typically associated with this style. Uh, enjoy black or with milk and sugar. So that was uh, on that. Now, the other one is mainstay. So he sent me two boxes. 
one of the, each of these. Um, so this one's mainstay. Now mainstay is um, uh, more of a blend, uh, blended coffee. It's I, I'm thinking it's their their own blend of coffee, but it says uh, a seasonal blend of Latin American and East African coffees. Uh, we taste cocoa, red fruit, and caramel. <laughs> so they, you know, and you know they do. I taste a little bit of <laughs> caramel. <laughs> so pretty cool. And then it had some stickers in the box, which is their sticker. And I just noticed it. It says Swift right there on that snowmobile. You can see the word Swift on the little line there. Uh, so that's the individual packs. And it says on here, 4.5 grams. That's the weight, net weight. Uh, Twilight Dark Roast, and stir with 8 to 12 ounces of water. Now, I did read on their site, they said if you want to do espresso, use 2 ounces of water and one full pack. Uh, but these are going to be great to pack and take out with us. Uh, but for around the house or taking it out, uh, they also have these little bags. Now, this is a bag. It's not puffed up yet. I did open one of these. Um, let me get this one here. and I'll, sh I'll see if I can open it. Am I getting too far down on comments? <laughs> I hope not. But let me open this one. This is the mainstay. Oh, that smells good. Uh, I don't... I want to open the dark roast one. Mainstay. So this is the mainstay and i it it's got 48 servings in here now it says just to use a half a teaspoon but i want to show you i want to well let me get a whole teaspoon on here so you can see how finely ground it is so i talked to him about going in and doing a video maybe of their location um thought it'd be like a neat field trip because they're in lancaster <laughs> so i'm not far from lancaster and i was just so intrigued that they make make this for so many other companies and for them to sell well i showed this to miss 2.0 and she said can they can they make a random adventures 2.0 coffee and i said I'll have to find out. <laughs> yeah. So that's really fine. Very fine. So uh, with talking with Christian, I would be able to film um, not where they make their stuff. Oh, goodness gracious. I just saw that espresso. I said it. I say, ex I've always said espresso. It's not espresso. Slip of the tongue. I just learned it's espresso. E S espresso. So <laughs> thank you, Stitch. Sorry about that. I'd do it one last time for you. Espresso. Yep. Uh, I wonder what that tastes like. I can't eat it. Oh, it dissolves. All right. So, so that's their mainstay. But I thought, wouldn't that be cool if I had uh, <laughs> Miss 2.0's at Random Adventures 2.0? So these are in these packs. So I've already showed you the mainstay. He sent a whole bunch of them. Um, we got, oh, this is an Ethiopian. Agaro, I think is the name of the bean. Uh, then this is another Ethiopian. But look at that mix. Um, Natural. <laughs> G G U J I. G U G? <laughs> I don't know. It's a silent G. Uh, but this one has um uh, while retaining crisp florals and a delicious milk chocolate finish. Pretty cool. 
All right, so then we got this one, uh, which is the Agro. So both those are Ethiopian. Um, this one, he did send me one decaf. <laughs> so uh, I don't drink decaf, but I might. I might every once in a while. Yes. That would be interesting to find out what that tastes like, too. So you that's so fine that you can sprinkle it over ice cream. You could put it in. Oh, I wonder what an I've never done this before. I just thought of it. I wonder if you can mix it with um oh mix it with pancake batter. <laughs> Have coffee flavored pancakes. That'll be a 2.0 attempt. All right. So what's the next one? So oh that's the so this is the twilight dark. So that's a 48 serving. Is it 48 servings? I believe so. Oh, no. 25 cups in the bag. 48 servings in the box. So let's see. That's a twilight. Oh, what's the difference between those two? Twilight dark. And Twilight Dark. Okay. Oh, no. It's Colombian. So we've got a Brazil. Look at that. <laughs> and I'm not going to pronounce the name. <laughs> you can see what kind it is right there. Yeah. And then um, this says, uh, this deeply satisfying coffee uh, boasts flavors that remind us of dark chocolate caramel and toasted nuts sturdy enough for milk and or sugar and balanced enough to drink black that actually sounds really good and then last but not least in the bag uh this is uh columbia coffee i think there is one more columbia too Yeah. Oh, no. So just w this one Columbia, or did I take it out? No, I didn't. So this is a Columbia. This is a Davino Nino. I think that's how you say that. Yeah. <laughs> so which one am I going to drink? Well, my coffee's water's got to cool down a bit. But I want to try one of these specialty packs right here. So I'm going to go with the Twilight. And we're going to put that one in our coffee. Now, <laughs> uh, I give it an open. So I always have trouble opening things. Yeah, A lot of times I use my teeth. <laughs> but we're not going to use our teeth on this one. Oh, that's got a good smell to it. So this is a little foil bag. Uh, and we're going to grab our cup, our Swift cup. And that's still very warm. Oh, I still got a lot of steam coming off there. And then we're going to pour it in there. <laughs> I do a close-up pour. Ooh, there it is. We're going to do the whole bag. Yeah. And then we're going to grab our ti little titanium spoon. That is really fine. So they have a process that they, Christian was telling me, that's um, kind of proprietary for making their instant coffee. Ooh, that's uh, tilted. Uh, look at that. That's That's looking good. Smells good, too. Now, there's a lot of instant coffee that I don't like the instant taste that coffee has a lot of times. All right. So in honor of my very, very first video called Coffee in the Woods, mm -hmm. where I took <laughs> this is where this phrase came from. I took a sip, which I'm going to do right now. All right. Well, salute. I was going to say good morning, but it's not morning anymore. 
but hopefully we have a great morning. All right, first taste. This is the twilight. Wow, that's a good cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, it is. That tastes really good. So I'm not getting that... Um, The uh, instant, real, real bitter, inst you know how instant coffee just has it. You can tell. I'm, I'm not really tasting that. If I do, it's very, very subtle. Very subtle. Oh, that's good. I like that. Now that's a good cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. So the first video was shot on March 21st, uh, 2021. Yeah. So that was happy birthday, everyone. Oh, am I going to have to scroll up? Scroll up. Yes, I do. Scrolling up. All right. Anthony Price, thank you again for that. Um, enjoy your coffee, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, we still, uh, hey, Mark Sanders, how are you doing? You might as well uh, have some coffee. Uh, you'll be up all night anyway. Uh, you won't uh, dare to go to sleep after you drink the second dose, <laughs> right? I've already drinking both, drinking, I've already drank both bottles earlier today up until noon. Oh, <laughs> when I woke up this morning, so I have to mix it. So I mixed it with two bottles. The one I did yesterday, I, I have a little funnel and I put it in, mixed it all up and cleaned the funnel out. And I laid the funnel on the counter because I was going to have to wait till this morning to mix up my second bottle, second set, my second day of doing this prep. So, and this isn't the mixture, <laughs> just letting you know. Uh, so uh, the second um, day, so I go down there and I'm all like, oh, I got to drink both these bottles of water in two hours. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get it over with quick and I'm just going to drink as much as I can in one swig. So I, <laughs> actually, this is still a little fuller, but I drank it. Ooh, all in one one shot, right down to here, right? And then I set it down, and I was talking to my daughter, Rachel, as you guys remember, Rachie Rue. Um, we were I was talking to her, and I moved my hand to the side on the counter as I was talking, and I felt a dishcloth. I picked up the dishcloth, like, what's underneath of there? I moved it, and I saw the funnel. <laughs> <laughs> later. And I was like, I didn't put anything in this drink. I drank three quarters of this without any mixture in it. So I had to refill it back up and, and then do the cleansing. I already had three quarters of a lever, 750 mLs I just drank. Uh, out of that bottle. So I ended up doing it again. So we should be good. That was uh, earlier this morning. Um, let's see. Uh, thank Again, thank you very much, Anthony. Really, really appreciate that. Woohoo, coffee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love dark roast too. And that's my reminder. <laughs> Espresso. E-S-S. <laughs> see, see, because I was calling espresso. That's all I needed to see. <laughs> and I even told you now that I know I won't do it no more, but I had to do it one last time <laughs> out of habit. All right. So scrolling down. Hey, Dylan, how are you doing? Uh, with the taste of RA 2.0, it would be neat if uh, they could do it like r random taste 2.0. Ooh, and that would be cool. Uh, oh, did I, did I say everything wrong? 
<laughs> I must. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, thank you, PA Wilderness Adventures. Uh, <laughs> what's, uh, let's see. I'm still going down. Oh, hey, a little off keel outdoors. How are you doing tonight? Hey, Karen. Yeah. Hi, Tony. Happel channel anniversary. Channel anniversary. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, not heard it said like that, but that is pretty awesome. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, Ed. So Ed was the first comment on here tonight saying that Cowboy Mike, uh, they were uh, at the theater. It was uh, Cowboy Mike's birthday. And they were out seeing a movie and that they would jump on later if we were still on. Uh, if anyone gets a chance to see the new Ghostbusters. Yeah, I'm taking it's pretty good. Hey, Eric Manning, how are you doing, brother? Okay. Outdoor Happy Brenda. Good evening, Tony. Uh, congratulations with all the new subscribers. And hello, Stitch. I hope uh, you are doing well. Uh, let's see. Okay. Am I caught up again? No, no, no. Yes. Uh, yeah, that would be awesome if they got behind with their coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd buy it. Yeah. Uh, hey, JR, how are you doing? Yeah, there. I, I tell you what, what I've tasted now, I just tasted that one for the first time, but I did taste uh, this one uh, earlier today, which is the mainstay, which is blend. Uh, that was really good. I like that one as well. So far, the two that I've tried have been really neat. Um, yeah, he did say if I wanted to do anything with it, that um, anybody that wanted any coffee, they'd get like 15% off. Um, just use the RA 2.0 code. He said he would work on that and give that to me um, for anybody that liked it. But I, at that point, I said, I don't know if, <laughs> if I'm going to like it. Yeah, that was even before I had it. Um, I like it. I do. I do, do, do like it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like I said, you can sprinkle that over anything. <laughs> yeah. Sprinkle it over your eggs in this morning. That way, in the morning, that way you ain't got to pour a cup of coffee and just eat it. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing good, JR's life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I am caught up. Yes. All right. So, so a year ago, on this day, one year ago, I was in just finishing up a camp out in Tortilla Flats, Arizona. So I do a walk around of the car, show, show you how it's set up. And then I camp out in the desert overnight. Uh, we made a steak, I believe. Uh, we got the hot tent stove out for that one. And also, I also use the... Um, the Bigfoot bushcraft uh, stove and grilled on that as well. Uh, made those little potatoes. That was a great meal. Very, very dark out there uh, in the desert that night. Uh, but the next morning was the 24th, which is also the, was the one year anniversary of my stroke. Today, it's two years anniversary since my stroke. And this is, I guess it happened around this time at night because I worked nights. It was around nine, maybe eight, nine o'clock, but I got over to the hospital around nine. Uh, but the one year anniversary, I was just finishing up camp uh, on March 24th and then drove out of the desert back down into Tortilla Flats. Look up Tortilla Flats. Um, there, there's a little restaurant right there. Um, that's got dollar bills all around the walls on the inside. Uh, awesome place. And I went in there and I bought myself a 2.0 celebration 
dinner <laughs> and it was a cheeseburger and man was that good so i ate there sitting at the table and i got there 45 minutes before they closed it was late in the e evening 45 minutes before they closed but they said they definitely make me one so they made me a burger i sat there ate it and then then i left uh, but that was the a uh, one year anniversary of my stroke and the two year anniversary of the channel and on that day uh, i we hit 7500 subscribers on today a year ago and <laughs> so we've we've definitely uh grown since last year Alrighty. hey barbara welcome welcome Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, Tony. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. KN explaining uh, Discord. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like I said, it's got a lot of opportunities. I've, I asked a couple uh, guys, uh, Frank and another guy. They're they're in their uh, middle twenties. Uh, later 20s, I asked them if they ever ha heard of Discord, and they were like, yeah, <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess more more people around that age frame, up, uh, probably up to not as many past uh, 40 know much about it because it, we know Facebook. There's so many more things you can do with um, Discord, and it would be a, a just our own Discord channel. Yeah, what great coffee. Yeah, I keep saying it. Uh, really good taste. Yeah. I'm savoring the taste. So, uh, hey, there we go. Stitch has got a question. Tony, you might want to let folks know if you will have a video Thursday or not. Yeah, so great, Stitch. Um, so I go in for endoscopy colonoscopy tomorrow. I do not have a video yet for this week. We've got Easter coming up for Easter weekend. I would love to have a video, but I'm not sure when or what I would film for Thursday because Tuesday I've got another appointment at a hospital for something else that I've got to go to this month coming from now until the end of the month. I've got a ton of stuff to do. I've got several doctor's appointments. It's going to be difficult, but I always try. So stay tuned. If I, I just don't know what to do if I don't have a video for Thursday. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do, but I can I can post some I I still want to post something like hey guys I didn't get out a chance to do a video um, and I don't know if I really want to post something I have one it's old, older it's it's just an ASMR one that I did of me camping overnight in a pond don't know if I'd do something like that I don't know I'll figure something out yeah camp out in hospital <laughs> right um, so that's a thought uh, but. I'm just not I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, there's Cowboy Mike. Hey, Cowboy Mike. Uh, sad news: Penguins lost today. They've been losing a lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, but happy birthday, Cowboy Mike. So this is Cowboy Mike, who's got a birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Discord <laughs> sounds like the story of my life. Uh, <laughs> Good. Oh, let's see. Good night, Tony. Time for me to head out. Good night, Tony and 2.0 family. God bless. God bless you too, Melissa. Uh, they call me 413. Life goes on. We will get over it. Uh, uh, extra hour on Sunday live. Uh, well, this, oh, this next sunday well the last one last sunday was three hours and i see we're coming up on um, an hour and 45 minutes we still got uh 66 people watching 
uh let's see uh doctor's office stealth camp <laughs> yeah <laughs> colonoscopy <laughs> hammock yeah yeah uh hey mark uh, let's see uh, just do a short cooking video hmm yeah might i don't know what i'm gonna do because i always do camping videos for thursday night and i'm thinking if people are looking for a camping video and they tune in and it's like not a camping video but yeah I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Lord always gives me an idea uh, to do something, and I'm just going to let it in his hands because that's the best place to leave it. Yeah. All right. So we'll see what happens for Thursday. Um, like I said, I don't have I, my calendars on that phone. I can't look it up on my phone. But I know uh, Tuesday. I got a doctor's appointment um, tomorrow. I got that procedure. Uh, and then the doctor's appointment the next day. Wednesday would be the only day I could film unless I'm not doing an overnight. Then I can film Thursday with Easter coming up. You know, I don't know. Like, like even next Sunday. Um, oh, no. And then Friday. Friday, we get together for our family Easter. So that's going to be Friday. And then so might be doing helping to do some cooking on Friday, Thursday. Yeah, it's going to be a busy week. And I know everybody else is going to be busy too. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm not sure about <laughs> uh, Easter Sunday, if we would do something Sunday Night Live. Maybe may we do something just not sure yet and then i get ready to go um to i'm going to be driving on the 4th of april to north carolina and then do the 5th 6th and 7th yeah there's a lot going on <laughs> there's a lot going on yeah there is uh just spice it up and do a video on you <laughs> right. yeah may i can I can wear a game cam or put the game cam up in there, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, we aren't going anywhere. Take a break. You know what? I I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, like I said, we'll do something. And I do. Let's see. Have anything else? I think I'm only going to stay on till. Uh, for two hours tonight only because i got to get up at five o'clock um and uh get ready and do things um for our procedure tomorrow yeah i just hope they do the one before the other <laughs> yeah because i'm doing both um endoscopy first and then colonoscopy second i'm hoping that's the order of it right <laughs> yeah um Backyard scuttle cook video. You know, I could do a scuttle video. I could. Hmm. Maybe I could just go out and do something like that. Yeah. Ah, let's see. Yeah, I'll figure something out. I'll I'll, I'll get to do something. I, plus, I don't even know what the weather is going to be like on third on Wednesday. Hmm. Yep. We'll get something done. <laughs> yes, we will. So there will be a probably a, a video Thursday, uh, but we'll see what it's going to be. And I might try to figure something out to do. Just do a cooking video. I know, I know um, Darlene gave me a challenge some time back to only use silver maple or uh, fire maple products. <laughs> that to try to cook a complete meal with uh, fire maple products, I could do something, but I like, I want to do the scotal again. Uh, in fact, I was thinking, I would like to figure out if I could put the, uh, I might do something. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to do something. 
uh, live stream from Denny's, <laughs> right? And, uh, I could do that on Tuesday. Hey, I'm coming back from my uh, procedure, still under the influence of um, anesthesia, but let's do a live of me eating at Denny's. <laughs> We're doing the big slam. <laughs> I'm getting a 55 discount <laughs> code. Yeah. And let's see. Uh, they could do both procedures from one. <laughs> better not. <laughs> I'd be a skewer, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be painful. Ouch. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't want to disintegrate into my procedures. All right. We're going to. Continue to drink our coffee. So what do you guys think about that Swift Coffee Company? <laughs> I, I th There's a link in the description for them. Um, he sent me a link if anybody wanted to check it out. Uh, you can go on their site and look at, because I didn't do a very good description of it all. I'm just telling you, I, I think it tastes, and it does have at least these two, the the mainstay and definitely the dark roast the the twilight has got the i heard a little powder shaking around there definitely has the 2.0 approval yep it certainly does oh 2.0 approval all right well one more sip of this mm. okay <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Uh, let's see, Cowboy Mike, are you going? Uh, oh, oh yeah, uh, trout season is coming up very soon. And um, I know the Northwest Wind, and I were just talking, Sam, uh, he's going to be coming over to Pennsylvania because he does a lot out around the Anirondacks. Um, not Anirondacks. Oh, the National Forest out there. Allegheny. Yeah, and does a lot of fishing, uh, trout fishing out in this that end of Pennsylvania. It's about a four-hour drive to me to get to the Ohio border. Uh, but he's going to be out in the area more often, out in that direction. So I know him and I uh, talked about uh, getting, uh, oh, well, awesome, Stitch. And Stitch, don't forget to use RA 2.0 if you do that. Um, so, yeah, they do have a sampler pack size. So, like I said, they've got a lot of different things on there. Uh, but as far as the... Um, Trout, Allegheny, Allegheny, as far as the Allegheny, he'll be over in the Allegheny more often. And it'll give us more of an opportunity to try to try to get together. And uh, while he's in the area filming uh, for a fishing video and I'll do a camping video and maybe he'll fish one day and then we'll camp together the next day. Not sure. Not sure what we'll do. We'll definitely uh, go go together. The only thing I we have uh, seasons for here is steelhead trout and Chinook salmon. Oh, awesome, Kenny. Where's that at? Um, oh, in Oregon. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Trout season lasts all year. So uh, steelhead up in Erie. I went um, up steel, steelhead fishing uh, up in Erie with my father-in-law one year. Um, I loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, up in um, up in Erie, just off the creeks of the one lake, Erie Erie Lake. Yeah, just off on some of the streams. One of the one of the when I had gone up there with um, my father in law John, it it, it it was the first time that I was around him in a little while for longer than. Um, more than just one day, even though they live right next door to us. But it's my first time getting away with them fishing a, in a while. And I noticed um, that his health had deteriorated more than I suspected. Um, and it wasn't too long ago after that, he actually had a stroke. Uh, he passed away, my fishing buddy, um, just a little over a year ago. Um, yeah. 
That's Lisa's dad. I just ate alligator. What? Happy out, <laughs> outdoors, happy Brenda. Uh, the other day for the first time, and it tastes just like chicken. I ate alligator uh, down in uh, over at the rendezvous. There we go, Stitch. <laughs> uh, at the rendezvous, um, on that one, you can see where I've got um, uh, Jeep fam brought um, alligator up from Florida, and he cooked it, and we ate alligator at the rendezvous. Really, really awesome. It does chase like chicken. <laughs> it does definitely does. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Always look forward to Tony's Random Adventures 2.0 Fire Chats on Sunday. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Red Fox Outdoor. Outdoors. Uh, is it just me or does Tony look like Uncle Jesse from the Duke's Hazard? Hey, it's not just you. Hey, we've gotten that quite a bit. And the longer my hair gets, I was going to wear a pair of uh, overalls with suspenders. I don't have a pair. Miss 2.0 just got a pair recently. Uh, I can't fit in them, I don't think. <laughs> but uh, we got I got suspenders. I, sh I, sh I should um, uh, do, do a... Uh, uh, Uncle Jesse Kip, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, uh, funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All righty. We have, uh, we wonder what type of adaptive equipment is available for dis disabled people to fish. Hmm. I'm not sure. So for me, it's, it's the, quick the the quickness so you can see I, I i can't flick my wrist very fast on this side but i can on this side so that's normal i can backhand it but when i was down fishing um at the rendezvous was the last time i fished i couldn't let go of the the line with my finger fast enough or let it slip off uh fast enough because i'm uh it was, it was a little frustrating, but then I laughed because it was like one of my kids fishing. It was around the end of the pole when you're teaching them to fish. So I was doing it left-handed, but I, I haven't done that in quite some time. Um, yeah, I, you can do, I can do that, but I love a reel, an open face reel, uh, not so much the push button. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kenny. <laughs> 25. Tony's much more handsome than Uncle Jesse. I think a little thinner, too, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just uh, went for my pre op uh, the other day uh, where they weighed me and stuff. And I'm like 153 pounds right now, 0.9. <laughs> Probably lighter today after doing a two day cleanse. I don't have a scale to get on, but I check it. <laughs> but I, I'm going to put it all back on tomorrow afternoon yeah <laughs> because i want to get a cheeseburger i want to get <laughs> maybe a breakfast somewhere i don't know <laughs> well we'll see but miss 2.0 will be driving oh we're real close to uh jersey mike's but she took jonathan out for jersey mike's uh today when she was down visiting him for his birthday and i'm looking forward i know him and i are going to get to get trying to get together in may we're going to try to go back down and that's when i'll get a chance to hang out with my son and grandson and daughter-in-law uh oh they have electric reels for fishing so i can reel in i uh, just my casting but they might have electric casting too. Uh, uh, Anthony, good night, good night, good night. Have a good night. Gonna watch some RA 2.0. Have a good night. Well, I appreciate that. You going on and watching some more videos. Yeah, there's a lot on there. Uh, how tall am I? Let's see. I am five. I say 5'8", but I'm 5'7 and three quarters. Eh, I would be 5'10", at least that's what the doctor told me. But I have a curvature in my spine, um, so I'm shorter because of that curve. Yeah. <laughs> so 
I could say I'm 5'10", but I'm not. But I would have been. If they straighten my spine out, I will be. <laughs> uh, if you can, Tony, um, teach your left hand to cast. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, def I definitely used to cast with my left hand. It's just been so long I haven't. I haven't done, I haven't fished in so long. Um, after the stroke, I didn't fish at all, except for that one time at that rendezvous uh, was the last time I fished. Um, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, there, there's, I'll get it. I'll get it done. Uh, they have auto casting systems. Awesome. All right. Uh, Tony, let's see. You are just going to go back home and sleep off the rest of the anesthesia. You're not going to feel like eating a big meal. No, I probably won't. I probably won't. Yeah. Might drink a meal. <laughs> Get a slushy. Not a slushy, but a... Uh... Oh, you know, it'd be really good to come off. Because um, I did a 72-hour fast uh when i was working um on my 12 hour shifts i ended up did a 20 a 72 hour fast and how i broke the fast is i had a uh, like one of those green drinks the vegetable green drinks uh in a container and i didn't get hungry for those and one thing I heard as I was listening, just preparing for the 72-hour um, fast, one of the people on there said, look, when you get hungry and you're really hungry, remind yourself you can't get any hungrier. That's as hungry as you'll ever be. So I thought, oh, that's interesting. So when you feel hunger pains or you're going through all that hunger, that's the hungriest you're going to be. It's not going to like get worse and worse. Uh, and then just like drink something like a water or something like that. Or if you're doing uh, what would be really good is that bone broth. Uh, yeah. I didn't drink this because I, I think it's got stuff in it. If I remembered. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, I believe this is, well, uh, th I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember if this, um, this Lono Life bone broth, if I couldn't remember if this had a little flex of stuff in it. I didn't want to open it. If it did, I just bought a um, family size chicken broth container and there's still a bunch left it's like a little bigger than the normal but it was uh organic uh cage um uh, free range chicken broth really good so i had a couple cups of that over the last two days uh, but yeah if i got like hungry um i just drink one of those to sip on it uh but yeah just keeping the water uh drinking and i can't I can't drink anything after midnight, so I'm going to hydrate here real quick. And then, oh, we're past two hours. And I said we're going to go at two hours. <laughs> all righty, all righty. <laughs> well, we are going to get off here. I'm going to just check the comments one last time. And then I am going to get off. <laughs> yeah, slushy, slushy is not a good idea. Uh, my prayers for you. Thank you so much. All right. So I am going to go ahead and get going. Good night all, says Emma Brown. Uh, and I want to say thanks a lot for stopping by tonight. I really, really, really do enjoy our Sunday night get togethers and our, well, we call it Sunday Night Live. Uh, I really do appreciate that. And I know, um, Seeing everybody in the comments is just always, always a blessing, uh, and I love seeing that. And God bless. Um, yeah, good night, good night. I see everybody saying good night, good night. Red Fox Outdoors, Patrick, Stitch, Dixie Cup, Small Town Adventures, Chuck. Good night, good night. 
All right. And like I said, keep me in your prayer for my procedures that they don't find anything. And um, remember to keep Steve um, in your prayers as well. All right. Okay. Good night, Mary Johnny. Good night, good night, Freddie. All right. Hey, good night. Good night, good night. Good night, Sarah. Good night, everyone. Good night, Eileen. All right, all right. Again, great coffee. And we will see you on the next random adventure. <laughs> All in crackinated. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Ken. All right. Well, all right, bearded Viking. We got to go to those uh, Pats and Geno's for cheesesteaks. I would love to do a video of that. Good night, David. Good night, Stitch. Good night, Random Exploring 1.0. All righty. So, Tony, let's do both hands. 2.0 out. But I can't, I can't do it like the video because I can't edit it. I got to go all the way up here and say end stream. All right. Good night, everyone. Love y'all all. And y'all have a exciting and amazing week. And also a good Friday next Friday. And a happy Easter if I don't get to talk to you on next Sunday. All right. Love you guys. See ya. Bye. Howdy. Good night. <laughs> I got to hit the end of the stream, right? <laughs> Still trying. <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone.